Welcome, I'm your host, Chris Hernandez, and this is Kansas City's Culture of Health. Like many cities across the nation, Kansas City has struggled with the impacts of ethnic inequalities which have echoed even after the end of segregation. A report released by the Kansas City Health Department in 2000 showcased the drastic divide, an 11-year difference in life expectancy based on race and ethnicity. But then our community united to initiate change by confronting the social factors contributing to this disparity. Our catalyst for change is in four distinct areas, peace, healthcare, prosperity, and well-being. Kansas City's health department began a unique initiative using a new type of health worker who hits the streets to interrupt violence, mentor high-risk individuals, and foster peace. We have grown to be desensitized as a people. And, and so we have, to, uh, we have to understand who we are as human beings until we can get to that point uh, to take a life is nothing. Another important element in growing Kansas City's culture of health is improving access to health care. In Kansas City, we're blessed with voters that have supported at a 70% level a property tax we call the health levy. That health levy actually helps us to treat illnesses and injuries, but even more importantly, to prevent those illnesses and injuries from occurring to begin with. Good health is central for our community. That's why the Greater Kansas City Chamber of Commerce was involved in the very beginning in our first health levy. We're going to be launching in close association with Mayor Sly James in the city of Kansas City, Missouri, a major effort called Healthy KC. We know that healthy Kansas Cityans go a long way toward making this the very best place to live, work, start a business, and grow a business. Several strong public-private partnerships, like a lending program, help sow the seeds of prosperity. Sometimes it is a chronic um, financial struggle. In some cases, it is that just emergency need. The Ban the Box initiative helps ex-felons find work, and their families can get SNAP benefits. Ban the Box provides for so many people who perhaps might have made one little mistake in their life uh, to get back on their feet by not having to check a box that says that you've been convicted of a felony or misdemeanor. Growing healthier communities also requires a focus on well-being, like sending this mobile food truck to food deserts. Our culture of health includes strong community participation in the mayor's literacy program. Third grade reading levels have improved by 2% in just one year. We have to raise the awareness of every parent about how important it is to spend that little bit of time talking to your child, reading to your child, playing with your child, if you expect them to do well as they grow up and grow older. Through collaboration and initiatives by all sectors, Kansas City is now a safer and healthier place to live. At-risk youth now have a longer life expectancy. Each of these seeds of change is an important part of the city's culture of health, nurturing healthy communities today and cultivating a strong and vibrant future.